Hello guys, uh, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to all the mods and nine, and of course to Mine Colonies, because the episode today guys is going to be about Mine Colonies, if you remember, look that beauty out there, oh my god, it's so cool, we have a Van B. Gifford in here, with no job and no house, oh my god, we need to sort these guys out very quickly, but uh, look, I done a bit of work around this area here, as you can see, I remove all the sand, put some blocks, we are going to make some docks in here, so we can actually dock up on the uh, ship, uh, we're going to make a warehouse, maybe in this episode, in this area here, and uh, something else that I want to address in this episode, guys, is going to be a, a new mod and uh, i think the only mod 9 uh, should be that discovering as many mods as we can and one of them they are really want to work uh, on uh, this episode guide is going to be mystical uh, let me show you very quickly it's going to be a uh, mystical agriculture and uh, that's going to be a uh, important one because we can actually make a lot of things in here and we are going to go through this process uh, very quickly because i want to show you how quick you can actually power up in comparison to the type of uh, armor and weapons and tools that you have. You can actually uh, bring them up very quickly. So uh, we are going to uh, look into that in a minute. Something else I want to address at this point is these guys. These guys keep dying because, uh, well, uh, mobs are spawning everywhere and these guys get caught before getting to the uh, town hall. So what we're going to do, guys? Well, I think we are going to make some mega torches. So I'm going to show you very quickly if you have the opportunity to make them and you are struggling with this type of thing. Mega torches is definitely the way to go. So let me show you how to make them very quickly. Uh, it can be a bit expensive to begin with, but very, very effective though. Now, if you look at the description, prevent natural spawning of hostile monsters in a big radius around the torch. So that is what we want. And effectively, this is how you make them, guys. So uh, we are going to need some torches in here, uh, some diamonds. That's why I said they could be a bit expensive. And certainly, we are going to need some blocks of gold as well. So we are going to make some of these at some points. And as you can see, that is uh, how we are going to uh, make them. We have the diamonds, we have the torches, I believe. And let me see if we have any torches, because as far as I can see, uh, yeah, we have 63 torches in there. We have diamonds, and I think this is pretty much uh, ready to go, guys. So uh, we are going to make a couple of those, and we are going to put it down before night time comes. Okay, guys, so night time has arrived. Uh, let's make one of these uh, torches very quickly so you can actually see how this thing works. And uh, we are going to make one and two for a minute. And obviously, we have as well uh, a new advancements and i want to show you how much this thing works it's just quite incredible and let me place it right here but uh, you can see that the radius is actually quite big so that is going to be very very helpful uh, to uh, ensure that uh, mobs don't spawn close by that's what i'm trying to say because these guys uh, get killed very very quickly obviously if you have a mob farm as we did in episode 3 i think it was don't put them close by because the mobs won't spawn but to give you an idea how it works if you don't have enough to make lanterns and all the good stuff well yeah uh, it's a good idea to have one of these mega torches so let's place this somewhere here maybe so we are going to uh, ensure the mobs don't spawn close by. So as you can see, a big torch in there with a big light. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, I think that that can be very, very helpful. So there you have it. Uh, mega torches if you don't want mobs to spawn. Okay, guys. So the next thing is going to be a warehouse that we are going to need. And that's going to be very important as well. Because we want uh, the builders to store everything on the warehouse. Otherwise, we are going to have to do things manually, continuously. And I think it's time to build a tavern as well. Because tavern, my friends, uh, counts as housing for these guys. And it will bring more uh, colonists as well, which is going to be pretty cool, uh, I think. So uh, let me grab my build uh, tool in a minute, if I can uh, find us, and then we have quite a few of those. Yeah, we have uh, one of those. So let's get the building tool down there. And uh, the warehouse, I thought in placing it, guys, right in that little island next to the docks, I think that that could work really, really well. So uh, I am thinking... And if you check them up very quickly, this is the boundaries of the colonies. And uh, uh, I think that we can place it right here in this area here, which is going to be, of course, I'll show you very quickly, my friends, is going to be right here. Yeah, I think that we can actually place it here. And then we can actually make a path for the guys to come and work and whatever they need to do. 
Well, uh, that is the idea, my friends, to do this in this episode. In the meantime, please like, comment, and subscribe. That would be great, guys, because... Uh, well, uh, we are trying very hard to build these colonists, and uh, if you could uh, just press that button, that will be super great. So do it, please. Okay, so we have that uh, tool. Let's see if we can actually build this thing. It's going to be in fundamentals, I think. And uh, what we're going to need, you can see here is the tavern. And what we need is the warehouse. And uh, where that is going to be... Um, no, maybe in there and craftsmanship, maybe. Hmm, okay, let's go see if we can find this thing. Okay, guys, so I'm guessing that uh, it's going to be on the storage. There we go, warehouse is going to be right here. And as you can see, yeah, this is going to be very, very big indeed. So let me bring it back at that. Uh, wow, this is going to be huge, I think. So let's see how this looks a minute. Uh, do we have enough to... Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty, pretty close, but I think that we can actually fit this thing in there very, very nicely. And as you can see, a big, big building, but uh, I think it's going to look very, very nice down here. So we need to find the uh, doorway, and I think it's going to be in this side. Yes, it is. So uh, what we're going to do is flick it towards this side, uh, just like that. Let me check again. Oh, yeah, that's looking much better. And now what we can do... Is bring it forward just a tiny bit more. Let me see. Um, just to make sure that uh, you don't cross the boundaries and don't touch anything that you shouldn't. Uh, it's really, really important. So let me check at the back. Uh, really, really important that we do that. And we're going to have to clear up all the mess in the middle as well. But uh, you get the idea. That's how it goes. And do we have a back door? Oh, it's a back gate in here. I'm just trying to figure out what is going to be the front and what is going to be the back. But as you can see, uh, all this has to be cleaned up very quickly. So let me do that. And uh, we are going to make the placement of this place. But look at the amount of things that are in here. It's just so cool, I think. Okay, guys, so that's going to be the warehouse. And uh, I think it's pretty much ready to be placed in here. And I think I'm going to like this positioning as well. I think it's going to go very, very well. Maybe we can actually bring it forward a tiny, tiny bit just to make sure that uh, we are going to be able to fit everything in. So let's keep it a go. Let's bring it forward a tiny bit more. And let's do it. And there you have it. We have the yeah, warehouse uh, pretty much ready to build. So we need to build a bit of a road in here and uh, to connect uh, this little island with the mainland. And uh, there, my friends, we are going to make the tavern at some point. Hopefully in this episode. But uh, now... It's time to uh, get going. Uh, things that we are going to need. Well, I think that we have pretty much everything. We have frame spoons, planks, maybe 54 of those, but I'm pretty sure that we can actually make those. Uh, we need 30 racks. We are going to make those as well. Uh, very complicated. Oh, Corius hats. I wonder if uh, the Corius hats uh, comes with the building. That will be really, really nice. Okay. Uh, well, we are going to... Build a building and see what happened. Okay, uh, the uh, hard block is 9363235. It's all things. Uh, build request created for the warehouse colony. Okay, so with that in mind, now we have this uh, thing going. Let me sh make sure. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's going to uh, be built as well. Let me make sure uh, we have the couriers, uh, minimum stock, uh, limited reach. Okay, so we are going to have to do a few things with this thing. But uh, nevertheless, Oh my god, uh, I think it's going to be a beautiful position. As you can see, I have started working on the warehouse. Yes, you go and work, my friend, because we need this building. Yeah, this is going to look great, my friends. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so with that in mind... Oh man, it's, it's getting quite nice, this thing, actually. Uh, I'm not too sure what the hell this is doing floating in here, but there you have it. At some point, we need to uh, do an exploration as well. Let me clean that this for our friend. But I think that that location for the warehouse is going to be beautiful. So there you have it. Uh, now, one thing that we need to do. Yeah, how are you going? Oh, it's going to swim. Oh, bless him. Okay, uh, you know what? I think that uh, we are going to have to build a bit of a road for him. Okay, guys, as you can see, I built a tiny bit of a path to go up there. We will actually uh, make sure that this looks a bit nice and all the good stuff. But what is really important as uh, Sanija start working in here, as you can see, look at that. Uh, oh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a mess with the water in there. We're going to have to do something about that in a minute. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to put these mega torches around here as well, guys. That's going to be important. So this thing can actually go and work uh, quickly and go to sleep when uh, night time comes. That's going to be critical uh, to do that as well. Otherwise, we're going to lose them uh, often, and we don't want that to happen. And, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's a huge mess in here. We are going to have to uh, close these things so the water doesn't come in. So I'm going to do that very quickly. Okay, guys, so as you can see, the construction is going ahead of the warehouse. Uh, I think it's time to move on now in what we are going to do next. And that is going to uh, be on the form of mystical agriculture, as I said in at the beginning of the episode. And as you can see, we have uh, Sanilla going to work. Well done. Uh, you keep going, my friend, because we need this done. Uh, beautiful uh, town hall, I think. The mod is just amazing, I have to admit. So uh, a couple of things that I want to show you very quickly. And that is the fact that I already have a place, a place to uh, start building uh, the new uh, or start working with the new mod. And as you can see here, I already have my my four uh, dark uh, oak diamond chest. And that is because we are going to use uh, uh, the same system that we're using here. But this time it's going to be with mystical seeds and all the good stuff. So let me show you very quickly how this works. Okay, guys, so the first thing that we are going to need is going to be Hoppa Botany Pots, and uh, I'm going to grab uh, four of those. That's what we are going to need. So let me get four of those. And uh, we have already the chests, but something else that we are going to need is going to be Inferium Seeds. Now, the Inferium Seeds, you can actually uh, find them on the um, uh, Mystical uh, Agriculture uh, mod. And uh, let me show you quickly how you can actually find this thing. Okay, guys, so once we have the Hopper Botany Post, what we are going to need is the Inferium Seeds. And uh, I want to uh, show you why I want to work on that. So uh, we are going to need four of them because effectively we only have four Hopper Botany Pots. But I want to show you if I can find it very quickly uh, where the seeds are, Inferium Seeds. Uh, and as you can see, that's going to be Tier 1. Now, uh, with Tier 1, you can make Tier 2 Seeds. With Tier 2, you can make Tier 3s. And with Tier 3, you can make Tier 4. And so and so forth. That is really important that uh, we do that. Now, to make the Inferium uh, uh, Seeds, you need Inferium Essences. Now, Inferium Essences, well, you can actually uh, smell them as well. You have an Inferium ore, but uh, it really is not that difficult to mine. So Inferium uh, blocks and Inferium ore, it's just very, very easy to find if you do a bit of caving. So that is not going to be a big issue for you guys. That is for sure. So uh, I want to do uh, this Inferium uh, uh, thing, uh, start working with this mod. Because what's really important is that you can actually make tools and gear as well. As you can see, that's the tier one Inferium helmet. But if you work all your way up in terms of the tier uh, level system, you can actually get to the Supreme uh, side of the mod. And this, my friends, is actually much worth it to have. Look at this. Uh, it's insanely powerful. Like, uh, you can make a Supreme Sword. Look at that, 24 attack damage. But you can go even farther than that. You can actually make a Awakened Supreme Sword, 29 attack damage. And with that, you can actually make, yeah, you can make a gear set as well. So that's important. Now, how do you do that? Well, it's all about farming. And this what all this mod is about. It's about farming. So let's make some of these seeds very quickly. And say, uh, I think that uh, we are going to get cracking with uh, this mod because I think it's going to be really important to power up and uh, definitely we can actually use different uh, mods. That is what I'm trying to uh, do and to show you guys in this uh, playthrough. So uh, we are going to make uh, this. We have Inferium Essences, I think. Let me check very quickly because I think that I have plenty of Inferium Essences here. Uh, uh, 788 and that is, my friends, because the mod spawner, the mod spawner is giving me plenty, plenty of uh, uh, Inferium Essences. And what about seeds? Do we have any seeds? I mean, surely we have uh, wheat seeds in here. Uh, no, let me let me just actually go for seeds. It's going to be much easier. Oh, well, we don't have any. Well, uh, we are going to have to collect some of those. And I'll be with you in a minute. And as you can see, it's not going to be that difficult to get them. That is for sure. Okay, guys, and as you can see, we are able now to make them. So I'm going to make uh, four of those. It's going to be one, two, three, and four, as you can see. 
we have the hope as here as well. And I think that now it's time to go and start harvesting these things and plant them and, and make them grow. And by the way, this is a very, very slow process. So early game is better if you can do this. So keep that in mind as well. Something else that we are going to need, of course, we are going to need Inferium Farlam because uh, the only way to grow them is with Inferium Farlam. So I already have uh, in Inferium Essences, as you, uh, you saw, we have House. Uh, that's what you're going to need. And we are going to need some dirt. So to do that, I'm going to need another four of those. And by the way, in my case, as you saw, I don't really need to do this because I have so much of this essence, Inferium Essence, and 751. But if you don't have a mob spawner that, uh, or crash, as you call it, uh, they can give you the essences. This is going to be a very easy uh, thing to do. So let me grab very quick these things and uh, let me plant them so you can actually see how this works. And hopefully, this is going to be able to give us what we need. Okay, guys, so the next thing is to place the uh, Hopper Botanist pot on the top of the chest. So we are going to place one, two, three, and four, as you can see. Right click on it. And then what we're going to do is place a, one of the farmland in there. And then we're going to play a seat on the top. That, my friends, should start working. As you can see, we have a little tiny thing starting to grow in there. Thank you very much. And that is what we're aiming for. As I said, if you can do this because you don't have enough resources, well, uh, it's going to be a shame because you should do this early game. And uh, definitely, if you don't have a mob crusher, you should be doing this for sure. So uh, there you have it. Uh, in my case, as I said, I don't need it because I have so many of those. But I wanted to show you. Okay, so we have the builder that uh, is uh, asking for something. Not sure what he wants or she wants. But let me check the rack. The rack is okay for a minute. Now, what do you want, my friend? Uh, I haven't had a house. Yeah, I know that. We will work on that. Uh, oh, we need shovels. Okay, so I'll work on that very quickly. And I'm going to... Uh, yeah, that's the request. Is, uh, make some shovels for her. So uh, we are going to get us some shovels. And uh, I think it's going to be as, as simple as going back to the uh, main storage system, which I love, by the way. And um, please like, comment, and subscribe if you like it as well. I'm sure that you do. Uh, very very interesting computer system got absolutely love it absolutely love it okay so let's make a quick a shovel for these guys so uh, they can keep going and it's asking for a wooden shovel and i'm sure my friend that we can provide you with a couple of these things as well so there you have it let me store that back in there and uh, since they i really don't need at this point so we can actually clean up all this mess oh man uh, we are going to give it a couple of shovels Hopefully, it's going to be happy to carry on working. And uh, I am really looking forward to uh, the, this warehouse finish because it's going to be a huge building. And by the way, we will have to level up all these buildings as well. It's just not a fact that we place them once. We need to level them up all the way to level five. That is going to be pretty cool. Hello, my friend. Uh, I have you uh, shovels. There you have it. Uh, one and two. I'm sure you are happy to go to work now. Zaniya. Please go work because, uh, yeah, every go. He's going to go to work in a minute. Uh, and now, what? what's the matter now? Oh, what's the matter now? Okay, well, she's ready. Oh, she's ready to go. She's going to go in a minute to work. Oh, what do we have in here? Hello, my friend. Where are you? Oh, my God. Where is he? Okay. Uh, let me see what you have for us. We have a glob. Uh, oh, look. Blaze powder. Hmm. That's a very interesting because, in actual fact, we're trying to get some blaze powders. But, uh, hmm, I'll keep you in mind, my friend. Uh, do we have any blaze powders, guys? Let me check because this would be a really good opportunity to trade some of these things. Uh, let me check. That comes very, very handy, but I'm pretty sure that we have some of it. And uh, uh, for future episodes, guys, because obviously we are going to carry on working with mods and all that good stuff. And I don't think that we are going to have any issues with uh, that. Oh, well, we have plenty of uh, rods. Yeah, okay. We can actually make lots of uh, powder as well. Something else I want to uh, go and have a look before finishing the episode today. Guys, it's going to be the quest line. That is going to be really important as well that we keep on this. So we have the bounty board. Kill 100 zombies. Well, thank you very much. We have some XP. And we are going to make a spell book. Wow, okay. That's another mod that we are going to have to look. Uh, magical mods as well. That's going to be great to tap into that at some point. 
Uh, tips and tricks, what we have, uh, yeah, preventing mob uh, spawns, we have uh, done this one as well, and we are going to get an iron furnace, well, that's very, very helpful, actually, uh, we can actually do a few things with that as well, uh, not much to do in here, uh, as you can see, personal shrinking device, <laughs> well, I, I need to do that at some point, and the infinite water, well, that is something, I'm really willing to do as well, uh, a sink, so we are going to do that, maybe in the next episode, guys, who knows, Mystical agriculture, as you can see, we grow in Inferium. And we are going to get some essences in here. Look at that, how quick. So if you are doing it, keep that in mind as well. You're going to get Inferium essences as well. And with that, well, you can actually make uh, apples, Inferium apple as well. Very, very interesting. Whole shift, absorption two. Look at that, three minutes. Very, very helpful. Very incredibly helpful, I would say. Inferium watering can. The watering can is used to increase the speed that crops grow. The higher TS have a larger area of effect. So very interesting if you are into farming, guys, which I definitely am. I really love the farming. But look at this. It's so many things. Essence gear. Look at that. It's just incredible. So we will do all these things at some point. And after that, we will level up to Prudentium. And believe you me, it's a few levels up, up to uh, the Supremium level that we saw. So that is something that we are going to do as well. Let's double check that we have the builder working on the job that we gave him. Uh, I can't see anything happening. So uh, let's make sure that he's doing her job. Oh yeah, he's working on that thing. Uh, he's doing really well, actually. These little mods, it's just the mods themselves, the mobs, mobs are doing really, really well. Look at that. Uh, I really love uh, how this is designed. So there you have it, my friends. With that, well, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next daily upload, guys. Until then, take great care.